lot more people come out and have a good time here. And, and this is mainly where we succeed is in the Midwest, so it's good to stay here and play music. Probably on the coast they have more, you know, more entertainment on a daily basis and you don't get as much out here, so people, you know, show their appreciation a lot more for sure. We were here back in 05 and played and it was a very messy night. <laughs> I think we were first, uh, first or second on the bill and uh, so that means we have a lot more time afterwards to get a little crazy and we met a lot of lovely ladies and had a good time that night. So we're looking forward to a second time. <laughs> uh, we definitely feel the, the down economy as well and I think now that it's starting to pick up a little bit, you know, we're definitely seeing it and it seems like uh, all the fans and people that come out to shows are a little more, a little happier, I guess, you know, and, and glad to be there. But whenever the economy was really bad, it was like people came to the shows to get kind of a release and an escape from all the problems and stuff. So it's it's good and bad when, in, you know, with the fans. And what about, you know, the music industry? Have you guys seen a difference with the internet and, and the recession? And, uh, you know, CD sales change or internet sales? Or, you know, how do you guys feel about all, all that stuff? Yeah, CD sales are way down for sure, unless your name's like Taylor Swift or Nickelback. You're, everyone else is suffering, it seems like. Um, it's just crazy times. I, iTunes has kind of taken over, which, you know, in my humble opinion, as long as people are out buying the music, that's fine with me. I prefer having the hard copy, you know, and having the artwork and all that, but the kids growing up today, they probably, you know, they've never paid for music, so that kind of sucks, and now they're, you know, in college and beyond. And I don't know, if I grew up, in the downloading era, like if I grew up never buying records, I wouldn't start now, so I don't know how they're gonna fix this, but that's where we're at. Yeah, I, I buy all my music on iTunes now. I mean, I still pay for the album. I guess that's where we differ. I mean, I like having the, the you know, the tangible album, but I'm just gonna put it on my, you know, on my iPod anyway, so. I download it, but I do pay for it, so. <laughs> you don't download for free? No, no. absolutely not. No. And how do you guys, you know, all get along? I mean, you know, I know the other three were kind of, they met in college, and then, you know, how, how, is, there, is it different, or how do you guys get along as a band? We all get along great. I mean, we're, we're happy drunks. There's <laughs> nobody that gets violent or anything, you know, after a night of drinking. It's going to be the night. Yeah, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we all get along. We're all good friends, even though we didn't grow up with them. I mean, it feels like we did because we've been on the road together for, you know, five years. So we're stuck in this big metal tube for, you know, months and months at a time. So, I mean, we get used to each other and we never really, never really fight until tonight. <laughs> until tonight. Tonight's the night. Yeah. Tonight's the night. <laughs> it's going down. And what about you? How do you feel being part of the, you know, the, they, they've known each other for a long time? Um, I mean, we joined the band, Mike and I are the two newest ones, they started in 01, we joined in 04, so I mean, we've basically, we got signed in 05 and been together 24-7 ever since, so it's like we're a big, happy, dysfunctional, but somehow functional family. <laughs> Does it get frustrating though, like five guys in one bus, or, or then more? Does it ever get tough, life in the bus? Not really. I mean, really on this bus we only have four people. The other bus is pretty full, so ours is a lot less cramped, I mean, if you... If we got 12 people on this bus, it'd get a little bit, you know, crowded and hard to, I don't know, hard to be around all the time, so. But we split it up with two buses, so we're, we got a little space everywhere. And, I mean, you know, like the beds are small and stuff, does that ever get a little cramped or? <laughs> yeah, you get used to it, I think. Honestly, yeah. whenever I go home, I can't sleep. Like, I'm used to the rumble of the road on the bus, it's kind of weird, and then we're in this little, most people call it a coffin is what it looks like. and. But I don't know, It's you get used to it, I guess. It's not for everyone, that's for sure, but I like it. And, you know, have you guys, you've probably been musicians most of your life. Did you ever think you'd be part of something like Hinder? No. You always, you know, whenever you get your first guitar, you always, you know, try to get into a situation like this. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like, you kind of fall into it, really. That's kind of how we got yeah, into definitely. it. I mean, you never, you never think you're actually going to get there, but... You know, you always hope that you do, and we we got lucky enough to be in this situation. Yeah, so. we're definitely blessed for sure. Yeah, we are currently working on the new album. We we got about 50 songs wrote. Uh, we're gonna start demoing them and send them to the powers that be and see what they think, and uh, go from there. Hopefully, hit the studio by January and put out an album. Be touring for that album. This tour, we're kind of getting back to smaller clubs. We just got off the Nickelback tour and that was ridiculous, like 30,000 a night. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of nice to be back in the smaller clubs because it's a little more int intimate and you know we get to meet a lot of the fans and hang out and 
you know, it's just a little, it's, it's good both ways, but, you know, this way is a nice change of pace to be in the smaller venues with people. Yeah, I agree. Like, for me, as a fan of a band, I would rather go see them in a venue like this, a smaller size. We love going out and doing this for the fans. So it's going to be an awesome time, a rowdy little rock and roll party. Yeah. And, you know, does, do the other three guys, are you guys pretty open to greeting fans and talking to them and stuff? And Absolutely. Yeah, after the show and everything. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what's good about playing the smaller clubs is you get to do that. You know, you get to meet people and, and hang out with them and, you know, have some drinks inside or whatever. Uh, whereas on the bigger tours in the arenas, you can't really do that because, you know, they file them in, you play the show, then they kick everybody out. You know, the bars and smaller clubs, you know, people hang around and, and you know, just have a good time. So we get to go out and do that with them instead of, them, you know, them being pushed out and we can't meet anybody. So... Yeah, it's definitely a lot better like this, and we like to hang out with people. And is there ever that moment on stage, you know, like with the Nickelback tour or any other big tours where it's like kind of surreal? Yeah, pretty much every minute of it. I'm the guy on stage that's always smiling from ear to ear because I can't <laughs> believe it's actually happening. <laughs> it still hasn't sunk in on most nights. Yeah, I mean, like we got to play with Aerosmith for a little bit of their tour, and, you know, that's a band that we all grew up listening to, you know, in one way or the other, and, and they influenced our music a lot, so the fact that we got to play with them, we were just kind of like, wow, you know, that's crazy. And then they, you know, they came out and met us and hung out for a minute, and that was cool. So, yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of moments where you kind of, like, you pinch yourself and you're like, this is crazy. So. And is it hard to be away from family? Oh, well, sometimes. But we have a good time out here, so it's not too hard to be away from family all the time. They're just a phone call away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just had a two-month break, and we got to spend a lot of time with our families and friends and stuff, so... I mean, it's. I'm happy to be back out on the road because you know this is what we do and it's a blast. So you know, you, you get time with your family and you know a little bit, and uh, you know you just get get your fill and then you go back out on the road. And do you